Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for coming here to watch this one. As you read in the title, I'm going to be sublimating custom pillowcases from Dollar Tree. I did pick up both of these pillowcases from Dollar Tree. Yes, they were both a dollar each. I wanted to show you guys how well these Dollar Tree satin pillowcases sublimate. I made a Dollar Tree sublimation haul the other day. If you guys have not seen that video, be sure to go check that one out. That video will give you guys an idea of what videos are coming up. I did find a lot of items that I want to sublimate from Dollar Tree and also from Five Below. So be sure to be looking for these videos coming out. Out very soon. I told you guys in the last video it would be every other day and right now I'm trying to post every day. We'll see how that goes. If you guys have kids you guys know it is fall break and so both of the girls are actually home with me. It is currently like 6 a.m. so I did wake up extra early so I can record these videos for you guys and that is also why I'm trying to be a little bit more quiet because both of them are still asleep. Anyway guys if you do enjoy this video be sure to give me a big thumbs up. First I will be taking you Oops, my phone's on the thing. First, I'm going to take you on my phone and show you how I designed this pillowcase. And I will show you guys the whole process of sublimating them. And let's get right into this tutorial. First, you want to go into the Pixar app. Then you want to click the plus sign. We're going to scroll down and go to the colored backgrounds. And we're just going to go with a simple white background. And at the bottom of the screen, you see tools on that bar. Click tools. We're going to go ahead and crop. I don't use any templates. I just usually and guess my size. I'm gonna go with the 16 by nine, apply. So I'm just gonna go with that as my template for a pillowcase. And I want to do a mermaid look. So I'm gonna go to the bottom and click sticker. Then I'm going to search some mermaid stickers, mermaid scales. And I really wanna see how vibrant these colors will come out. So I am going to try to pick a very vibrant colored one. I'm gonna go ahead and check in photos to see if I can get a fuller image. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. So instead I went to images instead of stickers. I think I'm gonna try this one right here. In this one you can see there are a lot more scales and that's what I was wanting. I'm just gonna apply it. And like always, I'm gonna turn the saturation up. So go to saturation. I'm gonna pull it up to right here. Click apply and that's what I'm gonna be using. Now I'm going to put her name on here. So I'm gonna to go to text and I'm just gonna do a big S. I'm gonna change the font, just simple. And I want to make sure I have plenty of room. So I am gonna make this S a little bit small. And I'm gonna change her name to a cursive font or a calligraphy font. Go to fonts, calligraphy, I think I like how that looks, so we're gonna go ahead and get it ready to print. I'm a little bit scared about this being too big, so maybe I should make it smaller. And since we're making a regular size pillowcase and it is longer, I am going to be using the 13 by 19 inch ASUB paper, and it is ASUB sublimation paper. 125G and we did pick this up from Amazon. And like always, I will have this paper linked down in the description if you guys are looking for some sublimation paper. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the printer. I went ahead and sent this design over to my computer. I use Apple, so I just had to airdrop it over to the computer. And this looks even better on the computer. Let me know what you guys think of this design down in the comments. I think it's gonna look really cute and I hope that it's not too wide or too long. And like always, we don't use any software or profiles to print out our image. So here's the file right here, JPEG. Make sure you have the image selected. Go ahead and click file. Print, Epson ET15000, default settings, copies one, paper size. We are going to be printing on 13 by 19 which is Super B A3. The orientation is set to default, so it is gonna automatically pick portrait. And I want to change it over to landscape, turn off auto rotate. You guys see what I was saying about it having a white edge and it will have a little bit of a white edge right here, but I am going to try to scale it to fit that paper. So scale to fit and let's see if we can fill entire paper and it will probably stretch it out or stretch the image a little bit, yes. All right, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing just because I believe that the pillowcase is going to be a lot bigger than this paper. And I've even seen people customize pillowcases without this background. So you could just put an S and their name on it or just some different stickers like little princesses, just whatever sticker, Disney characters or whatever you want on there. But we're gonna try this right now. 
I'm gonna click fill entire paper, scale to fit, and we are on Super BA3, media quality, best, layout. We want to flip horizontally so our words are not backward. You don't have to do cover page, watermark, supply levels. And now we're back to preview. It looks like it's ready to print and let's hope it comes out nice. Now I'm going to take my ruler and also this rotary cutter and I'm going to cut all of the white edges off. If you guys are new to sublimation, I do want to remind you to cut off all of the edges because most of the time your print will leave a dark black line around the edges. So be sure to cut off the top and bottom of your paper. And now that I have the pillowcase opened, it is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, but that's okay. You don't really have to fill the whole pillowcase. You could do it. It is possible. Like I said earlier, you could just do their name and their initial right in the middle of this pillow and then just add some different images to it. That way you don't have to worry about the size of the image. I might do that actually on the back of the pillowcase to show you guys what I mean. But for the front, we are just going to go ahead and go with it like this. I just want to see if it will sublimate. And I am going to put a piece of butcher paper inside of the pillowcase just so that the print doesn't bleed through the back of the pillowcase. So let me go ahead and put this inside of the pillowcase and I'm just going to measure both sides to make sure I have it centered. Grab your piece of butcher paper and I'm going to be pressing at 380 degrees for 50 seconds. Hopefully this sublimated and hopefully it didn't melt the pillowcase or anything. It does say it's 100% polyester, so it should have turned out fine. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. All right guys, and for the other side, I'm going to be using this image right here. I did create this image in Pixart. Pixart has a lot of Disney images, so that is what I put together. I'm gonna do the same print settings for the back side. Obviously, it's not gonna fill the full pillowcase, and that is what I wanted to show you guys, that you do not have to have a background, and it will look perfectly fine. So here's one of the images, and then I have a couple more that I wanna to add to that side. I'm gonna leave that piece of paper inside the pillowcase, and I'm just gonna flip it over, and let me make sure that this paper is completely covering the press. Flip it straight over. I can see through the pillowcase where the S was and that is the center of my pillowcase. Checking my butcher paper. And here's the first image I'm going to put on here. I'm go ahead and flip it over. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. And I actually forgot that I was adding these two quotes and you do want to press all of your sublimation at once. I'm gonna go ahead and try to add these two quotes, one right here and one on this side. So hopefully that works out, we will see. So I'm just gonna move as much as I can of this off of the press. I don't want any of this image on the press. You don't want to double press a sublimation print. So I have to make sure this is all the way off right there. I'm all done pressing, so let me go ahead and put it on the pillowcase and show you guys how it turned out. 